uh, with the one more kind of questions, uh, which is normally asked in initial interviews. So let's uh, see. I mean, uh, we'll see even scenarios, and uh, we'll uh, think of uh, what components or what process of have an issue can be used to uh, solve this type of question. So uh, this is process the following using the have an issue. So we have an data input data is as follows. So we have a student ID and there is an one record per student ID and the fields are you know subject and marks of that subject. Then again subject two marks of the subject two, subject three and marks of the subject three. So likewise we have a multiple student records and we want to prepare a report something like output uh, let's say student id then subject and marks so individual subject needs to be you know uh, cre uh, created uh, one you know different record for an individual subject and marks okay so um, so basically uh, if you if you uh, talk about record number 1 then there are you know three records are going to be created on top of uh, that okay. And similarly, for student two, the again three records, right? And also <clears throat> the number of uh, mar uh, subject marks can be this set can be where I currently we have three. It could be four, five, and six as well, depending upon the file. Actually, this will be uh, based on the file we receive. So we will try to solve both ways, whether it is a static data or it is a dynamic data. Okay, <coughs> we are <coughs> sorry. We are going to solve the uh, solve this, uh, uh, you know, uh, dynamically as well as in static. So if we uh, solve the static, then dynamically uh, comes within that, right? This is in a, a specific part of that. So, right? So we are going to solve it as in. Uh, dynamic, uh, you know, when we don't know how many, you know, pairs, but there are going to be pair subject and marks, but we don't know how many pairs are going to come. So let's try to solve this kind of scenario. So what we observe in this uh, uh, output is uh, we are, we need to create, you know, multiple records out of one record. So there are, there are, uh, uh, you know, uh, there are things which we can observe and you know see through is creating multiple record out of one record. So when we whenever we think of this kind of thing, right? Multiple record out of one record. So the we have a component called normalize or uh, our mind goes to nor normalize because normalize is used to create a, a multiple record. So and how many multiple records from one record? Who will decide that? So depending upon the you know number of you know set of fields we have getting, so that you know the length function is going to return, you know that is going to be decided by the length function, and we have to give the proper input to the length function there so that it can give proper length, you know proper number of records out of one record, right? So these two things we need to. Uh, decide upon before solving this question now come to the length function so we are we are certain that we are going to read the data using the dml specific dml and then <coughs> and then we are going to pass that data to the normalized function or normalized component and then we are going to collect those data into the output file or output table wherever we are where our target is. So this is the whole sort structure of this kind of scenario. So we are going to decide on the length of the, I mean the length of length function basically. So here we have, you know, comma delimited, you know, fields. So what could be the length for first year? There should be three records out of one record needs to be created in this scenario specifically. If we have one more subject pair, then there will be a four record out of one record and so on therefore we are going to uh, you know read this uh, record you know so let's say we are we are reading this uh, whole you know whole uh, line as an record okay then we need to uh, so we need to give, you know uh, we need to you know count the number of pairs actually so whenever we count the number of pair we know that student id is fixed 
right and then we need to we will uh, you know uh, we will do the minus 1 after calculating the number of fields if we do that then the re remaining will be the you know or complete pair right so here we have done the string split right length of string split is going to give me 7 for this and then divide by 2 is the we will give the 3 so the absolute number after division right the, there will be 3 if we have two more than total number of fields would be uh, 9 9 divided by 2 4 so likewise we can count the length uh, l count right and we are going to return the length function is going to return this l count and l count is our number of records we are going to generate out of one record so this is there so now how we are going to assign you know our output in the normalize depending upon the particular index and all now so let's um, uh, let's you know create the vector actually we will be creating a vector out of this fields and then we are going to assign right student id and what is the marks and you know things like that what is the subject right depending upon the index so so the normalized function is going to be uh, uh, you know there are two parameters in output input record and then index coming in from the length function so for the zeroth index so let's say uh, so for the zeroth index we are going to output the you know data you know for the first record we are going to create the three records for instance for this one right so uh, we are going to create the some vector which is you know uh, getting the uh, record and sing split uh, and then you know l rack vec so l rack vec is going to be containing all the all the fields right l rack vec 0 is for this one l rack vec 1 is for subject l rack 1 uh, 2 is you know marks of this one so we are going to create uh, take it as an uh, where where we are going to take it as an string only so we are not going to treat it as a decimal right the marks we are not going to consider as a decimal or our student id we are going to uh, treat all the fields as an uh, as an uh, string okay now <clears throat> we have taken the length of this uh, vector now we are going to assign the student id assignment is going to be the very easy right i'll write uh, this vector and the student dot student id let's say or what we can do is uh, uh, not this one what we can say is this uh, and i index simply index but to calculate the subject and marks we need to think of the uh, different uh, things right so for index 1 uh, we need to decide upon it actually basically <clears throat> so let's say let me create one vector right? basically let uh, integer let me create one vector right count mm, vector uh, let's say and uh, what it can do is for i and i is less than what uh, <coughs> uh, it is length of how much is it same and right seven mm, let me seven divided by <coughs> let's say two How much it will give? Length of like that divided by two is going to give me three. Ah, uh, right, zero, one, two. <clears throat> Let's see. I mean, if it is giving the correct result. Hmm. Okay, and assignment is I. So we are going to create a vector. okay and <clears throat> count vec index plus count vec of let's say index let me see i mean how we are going to we know that uh, for subject and marks there will be a difference of one index there okay so let 
me check index we know what is going to come for zero zero is the one count back zero is going to be give me one not one i plus one i think i should say i plus one or it is going to be and then one plus one two index is zero two so this will give me zero one two so for this is this we want right zero one <coughs> for the first record right for student it is in zero l rack back zero index is zero so my l rack back will contain let me copy this i'll just paste here l rack back l rack back zero is this one and here i have an index zero for first record account back zero i'm assigning plus one so it is going to give me one right this is going to give me one then my this one is going to be written as ss good i'm good i'm good i'm good i'm good, I'm good. okay and then zero one two then i'm in index uh, i'm putting the indexes of this one okay three four is for is your understanding okay and the sixth okay so but somehow for first record we are going to output this one for second record i want i want the this one and uh, right for second record i want not second record for i mean uh for index one i want No, 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 no. I should not say this. I should say in dot rack dot. What is that? Let's say it is in student ID only. I should not be indexing. Okay. Now index. So always for all the three code, always this is going to come student ID. Okay. This is not never going to come. <clears throat> So for the zeroth index, student ID is okay coming in student ID, and the subject is L rack back index zero count back index. It is I zero plus one one. So my subject come as S social science, and then uh, for this one, uh, L rack back index is zero count back index is one one plus one two. So this is going to give me five. Then for the uh, index one, so for index one, index, this is one, and this this one is uh, this one is uh, this one is one and zero, you know, one two. This is going to two two plus one three. So this is going to be Sanskrit, okay? And Sanskrit and this one count back. This one is going to be two two plus one three three plus one four. So four is is going to be six. The marks. And similarly for the index uh, one zero one two for the index two I'm going to get two plus two plus uh, you know index of count back of uh, two is going to give me three right three plus two five math is going to come five plus one is going to be six is in ten so this how uh, this is how we are going to create I mean the solution right. So if we pass this, my output is like student ID, subject, and marks. Okay, all the output would be displayed like this for all the record. So, so this kind of small, small, uh, you know, you, you may be you know asking you to how to you know in, you can go into the depth of it, right? How to you you are going to you know uh, collect the data and process the data. Maybe you would be asking you to kind of uh, you know uh, explain the coding also. If he, uh, you know, uh, the interview is interested in these things, but whole and soul, we are going to use the normalized func normalized function or knowledge component, and we are going to process this. Okay. So with that, thank you so much.